This is a community where Charles Darwin was member of, and being a member is such an honor, a privilege, I'd say, that you cannot simply ignore. I met a lot of people from different parts of the world. I mean, I didn't think that I would. I came here thinking that everyone here is from America. It's not every day that I can meet someone from England or from China. So I was thinking, why not be social and put myself out there? I really had no idea like what like being a scientist would be like. Like I knew about the scientific method before, but now I like understand how it would be applied. I never knew STEM people were behind PepsiCo. I never knew STEM was behind Pixar. I passed by a few of you and you were having such intense discussions about your project and you were right there. Brilliant. Amazing. Something really cool that I learned today was about accepting your values and ideas. I have learned that I'm a lot more curious than I thought I was. From what the panelists said, I know that it's okay if you make mistakes. It's something that you never got a chance to learn in high school. Everyone, did you have a good time at the field trips? Excellent. I'm so glad that you were able to see STEM in person, on the ground, changing the world today, and that you got a taste of that. I love science. I want to make a difference in the world. Doesn't matter what degree you get. What matters is that skill that you're learning and how you're going to apply it to the question I like to ask, which is, what problem do you want to solve? Everything that they said is going to help us. I know it's going to help each and every kid that was here today. We all know that you will be the STEM leaders of the future, and we are here to support you. Use the New York Academy of Sciences as a resource to help you progress in the skills that you need. And uh, who knows, maybe we can all work together in the fall and make some cool collaborations. These past three days have actually been the best three days of my life so far.